What the fuck is up, guys? Welcome to the Sub Podcast. I am one of your hosts, Chris Cheney, and across from me, virtually, we have my two partners in motherfucking crime. We got Luke Trevisi. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? I'm we here. We got Lawrence Deloach. What's up, buddy? How are you? What's going on, guys? It happened. It fucking happened. They counted all the ballots. It took four days for some reason, but we got uh, Mr. Biden as the president-elect. How do we feel? I mean, amazing. I'm very excited <laughs> to have uh, Joe Biden as the president-elect. Uh, I've been, you know, I'm very vocal about we need to get that clown out of office. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, and I'm just, I'm just happy. I'm really, it, it feels good. I mean, see Biden, you know, after, you know, to, and Kamala and I'm, I'm, ex- I'm extremely excited. Yeah, man. I'm pretty excited, too. Uh, my one thing is that since I'm seeing a lot of blue, it feels like a really shitty time to have a red microphone. <laughs> um, <laughs> nah, you, you still won with a, with a Supreme mic, bro. Like, don't, don't let that get to you. But No, of course. Nah, the spray I'm, painted I'm, blue. No, can't do that. <laughs> I, I might spray paint my other one a different color. I do like having different color mics on stage. <laughs> is, is you still doing that joke? Uh, yeah. <laughs> is it working? Yeah, it's working a little bit better each time. I'm figuring it out. So Notice he said it's not working. <laughs> he just said it's going a little better each time. Exactly. It's not because I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't lie to you. I wouldn't say it's working 100%. Right. There's, there's still kinks to be worked out because it's, it's a lot to get over as a, as a, as a comedy audience. <laughs> I mean, wow. no. I mean, we're all clearly very excited about Joe, though. Uh, Absolutely. Kamala being the first uh, woman in the vice presidency is going to be pretty sick. She's also the first person of color, which is dope. And she's and, Asian, too. That's pretty lit. That's, that's also lit. lit. Everybody, dog. And, and she probably wears Chuck Taylors and Tim, so you already know she's bout it, bout it like Master <laughs> P is. <laughs> Nah, she, yo, I fucks yeah. with, I fucks with that, man. Like she's, you know, she's got her own style, you know, mm-hmm. and we saw her on, on fucking complex. She was doing a thing. I'm, I'm happy, man. It's awesome. Yeah. Did you watch the sneaker shopping episode, Chris? I did not fill me in. What she, good. what she caught? Just converses. She was, yeah. uh, she bought her own pair of converse and she donated like 30 pairs, right? Yeah. It was like 20, 30 pairs to, uh, I forgot what university or what um foundation but she yeah she donated some pairs yeah it is funny to see like the young like the younger or more not even younger uh because i'm not saying kamala is like necessarily young she's like not our age but uh it is funny to see how the politicians would like reach out to like certain groups like with aoc uh she did the among us twitch live stream which like broke like multiple records and then kamala harris doing like sneaker shopping like (laughs) the republicans have no idea what's going on they're like why are they Joe LaPuma. <laughs> you know that what I mean? It doesn't look like a cat at all. <laughs> but no. Yeah, I, I, okay. No, no, go, go, go. I was going to say, I think it's awesome to see that, you know, politicians, obviously they're, they're trying to get to that younger base, but it's also cool for uh, politicians to be, you know, in the loop of whether, maybe not streetwear, but just fashion and, and things like that. I think that is awesome. It, it, uh, sure. it definitely, it definitely, you know, she definitely probably resonated with a lot of younger, the younger generation, they came out, they voted, they did their thing. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, like I said, where, where were you guys when you found out? <laughs> so, oh, no, all right, you go first, Look, I, I was, I was at home. Uh, I was in my underwear. I was making penny out of vodka. <laughs> And my girl texted me, and she was like, uh, "Biden won." And then wait, like, at oh, what this- at what time was this? This was like a l- eleven in the morning. Yeah, it was making penny out of vodka. You're making penny out of vodka at eleven in the morning? No, I got a I got a text at like twelve. But noon pasta? Noon pasta. Yeah. Oh, you're an animal. I'm an Italian, is what I am. You're a fucking animal. <laughs> I would never eat pasta at noon. Penny <laughs> out of vodka? Yeah. Oh my god. I made it myself. It was banging. I ain't got that in me. Pasta at noon, bro. That's the last. That's that's, that's uh, agreed. Although, you know what? I would have like a full Katz's pastrami sandwich at noon, so I can't speak uh, exactly. totally. Um, really? Yeah. I, I can't eat. I have to have something kind of sweet in the morning for breakfast. Like maybe like, you know, like a muffin or like cereal or something. I can't just go full like heavy meal, like like pastrami or like Chinese. Food. I can't do that. <laughs> 
it's gotta be some type of buffer like yeah yeah i mean no you're right i should do something like that maybe a banana before i yeah just, like yeah. a banana like some type of fruit like i usually sometimes i do smoothies for breakfast but i just can't go full penne ala vodka like i would <laughs> it's well, crazy, I'm a mad man. Dude. It's penne at noon. do you see my body i have a metabolism of a, of a cheetah it just goes <laughs> so fast i Every see time. It, I'm, I'm the best. I'm the best. My metabolism is the best. Luke the cheetah, Trevisi. Yeah. I don't know if that's a thing that happens when you're 30. Like, I don't know. Like, you, these guys don't eat penne ala vodka in, at, in the afternoon. Oh, like, I thought you were about to call us fat. I'd be like, bro, you got to watch your mouth. No, 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 no. <laughs> You guys are very in shape. <laughs> I uh, don't eat penne ala vodka in the afternoon. I had a late Friday. Uh, I was working, like, just so late, so I was actually planning on sleeping in, but then I was woken up by the uh, screams of women yelling Biden outside my window. And you guys have been to my apartment. You know I'm in the basement. So yeah. me hearing these screams, <laughs> I was like, I woke up and I was like, what are they yelling? And I was like, oh, Biden won. Because it, was, it wasn't like women screaming that I, I thought I should be like, I should go check on them. I was like, oh, I should remain hidden. <laughs> that's that's the type of yelling I was hearing. I woke up to them yelling Biden. Yeah, I was uh, I was at my barber shop and um, hey, we can see. And, <laughs> and uh, one of my boys had texted me and he was like, he had showed me this, the the screenshot of the you know Biden winning. And then all of a sudden, all you hear is motherfuckers beeping their horns. It it literally felt like like a dictator got overthrown or. Like the Knicks won the championship. Like your favorite team just won a championship. <laughs> Look at your two examples. <laughs> no, that's two that's things what, that very rarely happen. Yeah, the Knicks won the championship and the Knicks <laughs> yeah, get overthrown. overthrown. Yeah, bro. I mean, yo, I'm gonna keep it real with you, man. I, I, white motherfuckers was out in full force in Brooklyn, yo. Like they. Oh was, yeah. Like, yeah, that shit was wild. Like, I saw a white dude with a fuck Donald Trump t-shirt, like, just running, like, just running up and down Myrtle Avenue. It was wild. I've never seen... It was... I, I, I told I told my boy, I said, this is like um, when Obama won, how black people was, like, uh, running up and down the streets. You know what I mean? This is white people's, black people's Obama moment, you know? This is white people's, black people's moment. <laughs> white yeah, people's Obama moment. This is very yeah. funny. So... Uh, just me and uh, Mike Coscarelli, former guest, and um, you know my roommate. I think we've said that uh, we hopped in the whip and we went to West Fourth to see that shit. And that was a super spreader event. If I ever saw one, motherfuckers out there just crammed in West, uh, by the cellar. Uh, what's that park? Washington Square Park. Yeah. And then um, we went to Times Square thinking there was gonna be something going on there. Dead. But like, yeah, the lower half of the city where all the kids are, like NYU shit, like that shit mm -hmm. was popping. Yeah, 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 jumping into the fountains and shit. Yeah, motherfuckers doing crazy shit. But um, yeah. it was cool to see. It was yeah, it was dope to see, man. And, and you know, at the end of the day, hopefully, uh, we get back on the the right track in terms of this country and and less divisiveness. Hopefully, I mean, I, you know, obviously it's gonna be um, it's gonna be hard, but you know, let's let's do the damn thing. You know, mm -hmm, I, mm -hmm. I do like I saw the video of the people in D.C uh singing you about to lose your job outside the white house that was pretty fun you about to lose your job <laughs> i'm telling you black people make the dopest memes like we make fucking we we make memes popping y'all shit crazy i've been saying this for years it's the one you usually whites steal from black culture and we ruin it memes was definitely a white thing at first and then when uh like uh people of color found it they that they elevated the shit out of it dude they took that shit and made it 100% better all the time. <laughs> yeah, they did. Yeah, I got, man. I got real nervous over what you were about to say. I was like, I did too. I was <laughs> nervous too. I I told you too. Guy, we're not done, bro. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, stop. <laughs> I, 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 I get nervous when Chris talks. So that's, uh, <laughs> Just generally speaking. <laughs> did y'all see, uh, see Dave Chappelle uh, on SNL? His monologue? Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't see it. Fill me in, guys. It was great. That was great, man. That's Dave Chappelle. Yeah. Actually, no, don't. I don't even want to just, just watch it because if we say anything, it's not going to be as good if if you watch it for, for, with fresh eyes and ears. You know what I mean? Yeah. So just watch it. Any listeners too, watch it. I mean, similar to what were we talking about last week? Someone didn't see some shit, and we were just saying watch it. It's like better just if you hear it with your own eyes. Yeah, and ears just yeah. yeah, just take a listen. He's um, he's at that level, man, where it's just like 
he, I mean, even the fucked up things are, are just amazing. You know what I mean? It's, and I, and I really say that about a comic because I'm so, I hate to use this term. So like such a narcissist when it comes to comedy, like, I'm like, man, fuck that. Like, you know, I don't care who they are. You know, I don't care how great yeah. you are. I'm like, eh, you know, cause you have that, you have that ego thing to yourself, but I watch Chappelle and I'm just like, wow. Like he's just, he knows how, I mean, obviously he's been doing it for 30 years, but he knows how to just bring it out on people. Right? It was like a 15 minute monologue, right? Yeah. Yeah, dude, he's the only guy who could do that. They Top did, five, like, dead let him go. You know? Like, he did the 15-minute monologue. He did one other sketch. I don't think he did another sketch for the night. Like, I think that was it, if I was correct. Like, I didn't I, actually I, watch the show, so I don't know, but yeah. He did the monologue, and I think he did one other sketch. It was the very first sketch, and then I think the, the, the cast just took the rest. Like, if I'm correct, I saw, like... I think a little bit after weekend update, so maybe there was like maybe like fifteen twenty minutes left. But um, I saw that Chappelle show was trending on Netflix. So mm-hmm. like that, it. I mean that. Think about that, Luke. That's the gravity of. <laughs> yeah, my man did fifteen minutes, and then the whole country started watching Chappelle show again. Oh hell yeah, dude! That's the well, Chappelle touch. Yeah, I mean that was. I mean honestly, that was one of those shows, man. I, I can you know obviously I'm older than both of you guys, but I remember being in college. And, and man, I think it was like when, I think he's come on Tuesday or Wednesday night, but I had motherfuckers would be tucked in a room watching the Chappelle show, man. You know what I'm saying? Just tucked like everyone. Like it was like one of those things that, that brought everyone together, no matter what color you were, like you just fucking wanted to laugh. And it was like, wow, this, this guy, that's what, you know. I have a um, Wu-Tang financial hoodie. I have a hoodie based on the, one of his bits from yeah. the show. Mm-hmm. I remember watching all, like, they used to put up the full episodes on YouTube when YouTube was still, and like, the Wild Wild West, and yeah. I used to watch those as a kid. That was great. Yeah, man. It's, uh, yeah, son, you know, he's, he's at that level, man. You know, they, they put in, you know, obviously Carlin, George Carlin got his flowers, but he also, you know, he's looked at, you know, as a different type of, you know, thought process comedian, but, you know, people are, like, putting Chappelle in that lane. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he's already, the, like, people already say he's the GOAT and he's, you know, mid to late 40s. Yeah. So, you know, imagine him, you know, 15, 20 years down the line, you know, in his 50s or, you know, 60, early 60s, you know, it's, 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 it's insane, man. We could, we could all day just talk about how great Dave Chappelle how, is. That's how yeah, great exactly. he is. Yeah, he's great, man. He's absolutely great. And, oh, boy. Uh, Trump is taken as like a real loser, right? Fucking now. loser! Oh, bro, Trump. his his Twitter right now is the greatest it's ever been. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, he was like, like an hour before they announced the election, he was like, <laughs> I won <laughs> by a <laughs> lot, by a <laughs> lot. Yo, I've been saying things by a lot. I, I just, <laughs> I've been walking in the room. Oh, you guys are <laughs> watching the football by a lot, huh? <laughs> it's just, it just doesn't make any sense. It's just so funny. A lot. By See, a lot. Seems like he wants to take this to court, but you know, obviously, oh, yeah. it's not you know, like, whatever, man. Everybody's like, nah, bro, it's an L. Just it's an L. Just hold the uh, L. Anderson Cooper on CNN called him like a turtle, like a fat turtle on his back, kicking around, flailing around like Holy a fat shit. turtle. Yeah, Ooh. man, he wants to take it to court. You know, obviously, I mean, listen, dude, you got to realize when other countries are fucking hype that you know you lost, you gotta just realize. And he, you know, and and I'm gonna say this, he he was. He, he, prior to obviously holding the highest title you can as a politician, he was, you know, people, rappers, you know, he was liked in social circles, you know, no, because no one really, you know, the, the other, the fucked up shit really never came to light. But, you know, him as president is just, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oof. I mean, that, <clears throat> To get off politics, um, just again, though, happy that Biden's going to be the guy. Uh, getting off politics, though, moving into another loser who doesn't I don't, know I don't really like. I don't like how you really, like, stirred that, like, changed that, Chris, like, as the white man on the podcast. I ain't like yeah, how exactly. you really was like, I don't want to talk politics no more, man. We should talk. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Look, I'm just <laughs> sad they didn't even mention Kanye once during the whole... <laughs> uh, Yo, got, Kanye got some votes. <laughs> 
No, Yo, actually, wait. Lawrence was like pressing people, <laughs> trying yeah. to find out who voted in, for him. In our Discord, Lawrence was fucking pressing people. Bro, uh, <laughs> yo, you were. Te- I know this motherfucker was like texting people, going like, "Did you vote for? Didn't you text me? You're like, you did you vote for him, motherfucker?" I want to find someone that actually voted for him. I want to kind of just like have a like a conversation with them. I just want to like, you know, <laughs> that's that's the real reason. Like, I just want to kind of, you know, I want to I want to make it interesting, you know, for the people to listen to. That's why. But I can't really find anyone that voted for him, so it's gonna be a little. And I don't want. I don't want to like you know like do a sketch where it's like or something where it's like a person actually didn't vote for him, but you know. And then I like I I just wanted to be authentic. So right, right. I got you. Oh, got you, got you. But uh, yeah, like like Chris was saying, man. You know, dudes dudes are trying to dudes are suing. Dudes are getting sued. Yeah. Fucking Nike is out there, man. Hey, pit bulls, man. When it comes to the lawsuit game. Yeah. Warren Lotus again just is just really struggling out here. <laughs> Back in the news, baby. This guy doesn't know when to quit. Him and Trump both need to like get in a room and like just talk this out. Like we should just give up, huh? Just give up. I'm just saying they didn't vote. They didn't count the votes right. And I'm just saying my shoe doesn't look like Nike shoe. Hilarious, man. Um, um, I mean, it. What I did think was cool is Jeff Staple like came, kind of came out and was kind of like, "Yo, that." I mean, that was an interview. I don't think that was for so um what Chris is talking about is uh Warren Lotus posted in his story that he was going to counter sue Nike. Yeah. And then he followed it up with a video of Jeff Staples. Now, it's a little vague where this video comes from. It looks like an interview from like another source, honestly. But Jeff talks about the origins of Nike, which I've mentioned before. They're bootleggers. They stole all. They stole the idea from. They stole their shoes. They learned how to like make shoes from Onosuka, and they started like making their own versions of the Onosuka shoes to sell to people mm-hmm. because they were selling too many. So they're the original bootleggers. The reason and kind of one of the reasons why I don't like how this is going, and I'm kind of pro. I was pro Warren to begin with, was because it's a lot of these billion dollar companies where they pull a lot of shady shit. And then when they get to the top, they pull the ladder from under them and they make a bunch of laws where it's like, no, you can't do this anymore. It's like, but that's how you got there. Yeah, so I'm pulling up at least uh, the visual so we could see. I can't tell exactly where he is. I don't recognize the scene. Or I don't really recognize. I mean, it's, it's, his, it's his place, right? This is, is it? his place. I mean, there's so many SBs on the wall. Huh. This is probably his place. He's like being interviewed, though. That's not his place. Could ah, uh, who do you, which which uh which three Tiffany pre- dunks? Yeah, which online presence do you know that has a bunch of SB dunks in the background? Oh, maybe like everybody, <laughs> everybody on social media besides us because that, we're real people. <laughs> two chunky dunks, all three bears, the pigeon, the Seven Elevens that were canceled, right? Those are the Supremes. Wow, yep, Supremes, yeah. pigeons, yep. Uh, Jedi. You see reverse skunks. See some Jedi's in that bitch. Yeah, that's that might be like. Yeah, I don't know where that is, but you know it's super current because he's wearing a mask, so it's not like it's even an old clip. Str- Strange loves to his left. Strange loves to his. Left. Oh, such a nice shoe. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, I think Luke. I think he, he was literally like just talking about that situation, going like, "Yo, Nike is essentially a bootlegger." Yeah. It's a. This is like the the conversation of like what is a bootleg and what is a custom and what is okay and what is not okay keeps like the conversation is getting so like the the line is so blurry. I, I everyone's making really good cases on either end. Like I'm not saying that like you know Jeff Staples saying that Nike's uh like originally a bootlegger is like you know a pro or a con to any of these arguments, but it is interesting to think about. It is a history lesson. It's not even yeah. it's not even an opinion thing. It's yeah. just a history lesson. And uh the biggest thing that he got hit for in this in this uh in this case, because he got sued again by Nike for the replacement dunks. Did we talk yeah. about that last week? Or I don't remember. No, I, I know we just shit on him. <laughs> and then, yeah, we just didn't like the re- we yeah, we just shit on him. And then Nike was just like, we don't like him either. <laughs> we don't like him either because like the sole was exactly the same as the or like the midsole and sole area was exactly the same as the SB still. And they were they were like, how many times do we have to teach you? This <laughs> so okay, wait. Here's the thing now though, because now I'm like, I want a pair. <laughs> Me too. Uh-huh. Yo, cause you wear the 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 Sue dunks, 
mm-hmm. the got sued dunks like the fake got sued. like yeah, i'm with that now like that's just the i guess this is where it lies for me is like now there's enough of a story oh. what i just realized something we made the let's get sued ones before warren lotus did let's fucking sue warren lotus <laughs> we did we made we, the let's get sued ones we did do that we did that do you still have the paper there's no way you have it uh no we posted it on our discord it's in there is it maybe it's on the instagram it's i don't know side. there's a photo of that somewhere but we 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 did it first i think we have a case guys lawrence he's not wrong <laughs> I, he's not he's definitely not wrong <laughs> it's very funny that you remembered that. I forgot all about that. I totally forgot until now. No, but to me, there's enough story where I'm like, okay, I'd wear the shoe. Yeah, it's like a, it's a history uh-huh. at this point. Even the ugliest of the replacement ones, like the one with the blood splatter, like I'm all I'm on that now. <laughs> I'd wear those. How do I get a pair? Can I get a pair? I don't even think he can give those out. No, he can't. I want them. <laughs> I want them. <laughs> <laughs> See, those shoes are so bad. They're the worst shoes that's ever existed. It's crazy because that was my whole concept too. What if we made the worst shoe out of all the technology? <laughs> you did, Luke. You said let's make the worst shoe and then get sued, and that's what Warren Lotus did. Warren Lotus listens to the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick and tired of the entire sneaker industry. First of all, when Biden won, Chris posted a, a story photo of uh, of Biden with the got him sign. Yeah. Okay. Complex. Three hours later. Same fucking picture. <laughs> I'm tired, Lawrence. This con- this, this world this is so funny. Respect disrespects the shit out of sub podcast. I I definitely agree with you on that. I mean, <laughs> what, we talking about hypeless heat, and then what the comp uh, what the podcast? Yeah, they had like yeah. their shoe, what a, like their sleeper picks for the summer or some shit. I'm sure I'm sure there's someone out there listening and like let's just steal their shit. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> So, so what do you think the end game goes with Warren Lotus? What do you think happens? You think they just bankrupt him and then just be like, "Oh yeah, dude, it's toast." Well, <laughs> he's done. I don't know. Well, he's saying that the the shoes have a utilitarian purpose, uh-huh. right? I think he might look because we're looking at it from a sneakerhead perspective, like people who like understand like the history of these brands and uh and understand like different pieces of the shoe and the different different uh functions of the shoes Mm -hmm. if you bring this to a judge the judge is going to be wearing fucking dirty new balances underneath his robe Mm -hmm. you Uh think he really gives a shit about the midsole of a fucking fake of of a replacement dunk i don't know i really don't know i think he might be able to get away with this one you know looking at him now actually you know what we got a uh they look different than the so it's clearly different than the um the staple ones, but not by yeah. much. But I guess it's close enough. This is just crazy. But yeah, dude, he's toast. This dude's done. I mean, look at all, all he all he did was do other people's shit. Yeah, it's pretty embarrassing how much you know. I you know I still I still get pissed off about the Kobe shit that he did. You know, with the Kobe joint, with the flames coming out of that. Like, this shit know, right here, he, right? Well, he did a Kobe with with the it was a skeleton. Yeah, but it had cool, flames man. coming out. So then he was like, and out of respect to Kobe, I'm going to take away the flames, but keep the skeleton. It was like, dude, like, yeah, I, I, I just, I just kind of, I just give up Warren Lotus. But um, yeah, I'm look, like I said, hopefully Nike just really stops the shit and doesn't give, you know, anyone else the idea. Because I, like, I, I've always, and we've talked about this on the podcast, I've always wondered why they never went after bait why bait was able to continue to succeed for years and as you know and and guys like warren lotus but lotus was getting too cocky for his own shit so yeah i mean yeah. at least bait was they were they were doing their own colors and and they were you know patent leather and doing wild shit but yeah. like lotus is literally like oh man like i'm gonna give people the limb the sneakers that that they couldn't get from nike and i'm just gonna put my own spin on it and make one nah i think what yeah what happened with bape is like i think that's the reason why sbs are so like have so many crazy designs on them is because of like the bapesta because like you take that kind of where it was like the whole argument for the bapesta was one the patent was was 
uh, was finito on the on the Air Force One, and then two, the the designs and like the patterns were were unique. Mm-hmm. So now with the SBs, they were like, oh, let's just fucking use everything. So mm-hmm. nobody can like even argue that that silhouette can be used in any other way. I'm not sure. I mean, I don't it's know. all speculation. Yeah, I mean, I just do it. I, I would love to see him try again. Kind of. Now I'm like rooting for him. <laughs> I'm 180 on this deal. Like, just keep trying. I mean, he's done for sure. It's over. He's gonna go bankrupt. But like, I want to see him keep trying. I don't know. Yeah. Mm. It's either one of two things is gonna happen. It's either Warren Lotus comes out alive and his sneaker brand it just shoots up in value, mm-hmm. or. He becomes bankrupt, has to leave LA, and never show his face again. Never, sh- never show your face again, Warren Lotus. Literally two extremes. Those are the only two options I think are that are possible for this man. Never show your fucking face again, Warren Lotus. <laughs> um, guys, listen. Uh, you know, I, I know we, as much as I want to, uh, wishing evil things upon Warren Lotus financially in terms of he's <laughs> fucking bootleg. There are other uh, actual sneakers that uh, look like bootlegs, but they're real that we're going to talk about. Uh, let's talk about the uh, what the fives. I know, Chris, you weren't around, I believe, when uh, Luke, myself, and uh, Isaiah Lorenzo spoke about them. But what do you think about those abominations? Just as you said it, abominations. I don't understand that series of shoe at all. I mean, all right, let me backtrack. Conceptually, I get like, all right, let's just like mix match some of like people's favorite shoes and shit, but they're mm-hmm. always horrific looking and they never go that you can't wear them. You look stupid. You look like a clown. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I, yeah, I'm, I've never okay. been a fan of the Well, I've, I've never truly been a fan of the What the Series except for some of the basketball models like the Kobe's and LeBron's, but yeah, like this is just obviously a cash grab and they're going to attract the, the people who want to be flashy and, but they're fucking horrible sneaker. You have no, to be like just... offset to wear this. You can't like, no, <laughs> like you can, oh, no normal per, like dressing person can wear these. You can be 15, 16. You can be a teenager. I feel like and pull those off if you want. But it just doesn't have to be offset like a celebrity. I think celebrities dress horribly anyway. I think half of those yeah. motherfuckers can't dress even with a stylist. But I feel like if you're a kid, you know, but a normal person, like, I think they're going to sit on shelves anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not crazy about them either. I Yeah, I... The, the What the Series is interesting at every time. It's like, yeah, conceptually, I'm for it. And then you see the execution, and every time it just doesn't work. Like I think they just use too many patterns. Like you just use too many designs. Well, uh, uh, yeah, uh, how many can we? How many designs can we count out of that one? Can you bring that back up, Luke, for a second? <clears throat> yeah, I got you. Uh, so because there's like three, there's like three references on each shoe at least, right? So I've got. On one side, I can tell for sure we've got the Bel Airs. On the red side, it's Raging Bulls, Raging Bel Airs. Bulls. Yeah. Metallic and, fives with the, with the midsole with the... Like, and, the and the tongue. Well, the, 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 the tongue is like green bean fives. It looks yeah, like, I was going to say green yeah. bean. It looks like the, the, the left one's glow in the dark, too, on the sole. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. So you got a metallic... You got like a, a black metallic five midsole with the green glow on the bottom. Uh, then the yellow one obviously is what Michigan or Tokyo or I would assume because of the, the symbol Tokyo. it's Tokyo, yeah. Tokyo uh, with grape, grape midsole probably. I would guess grape. I mean, that? this is just. Oh, I have no idea. I can't even oh, tell what that is. Oh, those I I know those fives. Um, damn, I can't remember the. I can't remember what the the sneaker was, but I, they were terrible too. The <laughs> yeah, like the the padded insole, like the padded tongue part. Yeah. yeah, it's 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 such a bad shoe, man. Like I feel like I feel like if you're gonna do a like a five, and, and this is is this the first what the five or? I believe so. I believe these are the first what the fives. Yeah, because even like the see the Wait, the, click on the, the fours. Four. I think the fours were probably the best executed. These ones. are wearable. Out of all the what this, these are absolutely wearable. They're it's cohesive, even though they it doesn't match. Like it makes sense that like so Oreo, uh, 
Actually, it's so no. simple that you can't even really tell other than the Oreo. No, it's Oreo. It, it's, not, it's, it's cement. It's cement for white cement fours, uh, fire rift fours, military fours. Do, don't the Oreos have that, 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 that black splatter too, though? Let's see. There you go. White cement. Oh, it says it on the box. Oh, so yeah, yeah. There's no, I don't, there's no Oreo. Oreos is like completely different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so it must it's, be it's wrong. It's, so then, you know what? Go back to the fives. Yeah, does it say on the fives? See the, it should. We should see it the should. description. It should. Let's see <laughs> Why didn't we just look at this before? We're so dumb. Nope. No, 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 no. Don't, don't say that. We're, <laughs> we're smart people. Yeah, we're <laughs> Uh, no, because it doesn't say it on here. Because, see, we're smart people. That's right. We are. <laughs> we're so smart. <laughs> we're so smart. We're smart people, guys. I'll check. I'll keep looking. See what we got. But, yeah. Uh, the execution on the four. Yeah, the fours are probably the best The best of the what the series. The, the SBs are a fucking mess. They're just... There's so much going on on those. I think the, uh, the what the uh, Jordan 1... It was it was solid. I mean, I, I sold my pair. I could not wear those. I mean, I'm too. I think my OCD or whatever the fuck I have, whatever mental issue I have, would not allow me to wear those. Right. But, no, um, actually, no. I think you're a normal person. Versus, I think people have yeah. mental issues who wear them. <laughs> yeah, who people who want to be so flashy and shit that wear. Yeah. If, well, if you know I what? ran a mental hospital, this is this is the shoe that I would give everybody. Every patient gets a what the <laughs> what the five. You know, I guess this is just one of those shoes where, it, like, it's a it's a pure call out to if you're like a hype beast or not, or like if you're if you really just don't get what's going on. Because only people right, who on. like here we go here, here we go. hold on here we go. I'm sorry, not to cut you off. So no, no, it okay. gives you it gives you what what it has. So Tokyo, Shanghai, Raging Bulls, Bel Airs, Lasers, Green Beans, Army Olive. That's where that uh, brown. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, lining, brown lining, and then the uh, Kwai fifty fours. Yeah, why so many shoes? Jesus, and not and not only shoes, but just not good shoes. No. You know what? The five hasn't gotten the best of treatment, to be honest. Like some of those guys alone were like good shoes, but if you put the fives up against a lot of the other ones, like not the core colorways, mm-hmm. like kind of got mistreated, if you ask me. Yeah, the fives have some of the the weaker ones for sure. Um, no, what I was saying though is like basically, if you see a kid wearing that, you know he's just on the hype train. He's not really like into it. He's just buying shit because it's like a special edition. And real quick, now I know you know a lot, a lot, this whole segment has been devoted to kind of shitting on the what the series. But do you guys have an actual favorite what the sneaker? I think the fours are my favorite. The fours are really good, and then you know what? Although the LeBrons are actually unwearable, I kind of liked those LeBrons. Like for something so loud and crazy, like those were kind of tight. Mm. Ooh, you know what? The what the dunk highs are like so insane that they almost work. Isn't that they? Doesn't it, they have the jump on the back or some shit? Like one of the heels has some crazy word on it or some shit. No, this is the. Let me see. This is the the what the highs. This the SB highs. I mean, These are insane. Those are, that's a lot going on in that shoe, but I do like it though. It does. Are those because like the color, the color, like the palette is not is not bad. I mean, eight hundred dollars for that. <laughs> the what the lows are ten stacks on here. Yeah. Yeah. Don't just, yeah. Come on, bro. Let's not like. Yeah. Come on, bro. For just the, the audio listeners, uh, <laughs> go full circle with the pigeon. Uh, for just the audio listeners, we're on StockX. We're just going through like each what the now. Ooh. At the time when those came out, I mean, those were people looked at those like they were like, wow, like you had to be insane. But uh, yeah, man, come on, man. What the? <laughs> with, the with the blue lobster. Um, wait, does it in the description? Does it say what shoes are on here? Because we can call out a couple of those, but no, this one doesn't no, have a description hold on. either. I Pigeons, look it up. Tweeds, Luckies, uh, let's see, Bucks, <clears throat> uh, Supreme, uh, Denims. Mm-hmm. Keep going, keep trying to shoot around. Uh, you got Supreme. Uh, there's so many, I can't really, I, I can't even remember. This is like head, eight, yeah, this man. is at least 10 shoes. 
this is this is a lot of shoes and then even on the inside you've got a bunch of pan wow uh-huh. so many panels uh-huh. i think the be- i think well the, the best obtainable and, and these weren't were kind of hard was uh the what the kobe eight oh I think the, the kobe that those i remember when those came out and how people like they flocked for uh, Kobe eights, the what you know, this is maybe 2013 ish around that time. Those were 2013, 2014. Those were beautiful. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Look at this guy. And I, I, and I think it works more well. I think it works on basketball sneakers that people are actually going to play ball in, you know, because I think when you wear basketball, when you actually play ball on the court, um it it definitely works better like you can be flashy but like to wear those like for just chilling and hanging no 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 um so okay uh this is happening live i got a text i Uh should i i could do this someone just offered me a ten and a half of the fragment three for free for free yes (laughs) it's not my size though what size are you? Nine. Nine and a half. Yeah, but I mean, you know, we can try to, you know, I know go to round two or try to flip those into a nine. Why not? I, this is what he said. He goes, yo, I got a ten and a half if you want them. I know you're nine. You can have them if you're going to wear them, but if not, I'm going to sell them. Ooh. Well, then, all right, here's the thing. I mean, then ten, a ten and a half is, like, hard, obviously, to pull off you know, being the fact that it's a size and a half too big, but if you can try to turn that 10 and a half to a nine, then I'm with you. Yeah. Oh, try to do a little. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. So it's kind of like, yeah, it's like, all right, you have the shoe. Now you have to either you, Chris Cheney have to either a sell the 10 and a half and then pay for the nine, Mm -hmm. or you have to find a place where you can trade your 10 and a half for a nine, but you still have the, you have the shoe to try to now make it work. And whoever's looking out for you is like, gotta be, fam, you gotta be, you know, they gotta, you gotta be, they. It's my guy right here. So that's what I'm saying. So yeah, I think, I think, you know, if you do it, then yeah, I mean, you know. Okay, I'm gonna tell, after the show, I'm gonna tell them, yeah. But it's not like they're going anywhere, so. Um, Fuck yeah. So everyone who fucking made fun of me for missing on those fragments, guess what, bitch? Karma, my way. I mean, you still missed out on them. Yeah, Yeah, but now I got them somehow. (laughs) I Came back know. around. You finessed that one. <laughs> I don't know how. Yeah, I don't know how either, man. You must have fucking designed a motherfucker's, you know, uh, portfolio. <laughs> Hugged them up. You got somebody a job. <laughs> you, know what's fu- you know what's funny is I literally have gotten paid to make other people's portfolio for them. Like, just arrange the, pr- like, make a nice little like, deck for them to present. I'm like, I, yeah. you, you're missing the point by having, paying me to do this. But, yeah, I'll make you look good. Fine. <laughs> Good um, new job that you'll get fired at. <laughs> wait, sorry, I we, I derailed the conversation. Uh, we were just looking at the Kobe's, right? Those are cool. I like those. Yeah. I got just distracted by the text when uh, you guys were saying that. Sorry. Solve it. Huh. So which which LeBron? Which what the LeBron? The Elevens? Uh, I think it, it was the one of the Gundam looking ones. I forget what number it is. It might be eleven. Probably the Elevens. Oh, or the Tens? I got all of them up here. It was like they had the South Beach. Oh, the South Beach. This is what the MVP? What the eleven? Yeah, the yeah, it's these ones. These ones are like, even though they're they're like so unwearable, you can do it. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. I think once again, I, I said I think when you get to the what the series, I think if you're playing, if you're actually stepping on the court, then yeah, I'm I'm more for it. You want it? You want some like distinct sneakers, but like to wear? No, no. Yeah, I, if, you're, if you're running, <laughs> if you're running around in them. Let's let's all right. Let's play the what if. You know, I don't like doing the what if game, but all right. What if Jordan Brand made a Jordan Eleven? What the, like it had Concords, Playoff Eleven. You know, black. You know, black and red, cool gray, Space Jams. You know, the the old the OG ones, like the mm-hmm. you know. Uh, oh, that's fun. To th- that's a that's that's fun to think about. I mean, and you basically named yeah. all the ones that you would use. I can't think of another one other but, than those. What's the, what's the all white one? The um, what do you call it? I forgot what, what the name of it. The OVOs? No, no, no. no, no, all, no the all white, all white elevens. Um, 
Not tri- like, not they don't call them like just the triple platinum like they usually do, right? No, they're not triple platinums. They're um, see now this is all white elevens. They're they have a nickname, but either way, the, you know what I'm talking about. The um, oh uh, the retro silver anniversary. Hold on, let me see here. Twenty fifth no. anniversary. All white elevens. No, 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 no. Legend blue. Uh, they call it Legend Blue. I forgot what the original name was, but I yeah. tried to Google it quick. It said anniversary or whatever, so I'm I'm probably mm-hmm. off. Mm-hmm. It has a they call it Legend Blue, but it's a different. The original nickname was something completely different. Hmm. See, just based off this conversation, we we already est- like just conceptually, right? Just talking about the shoes that you could put on the eleven. There's a way to make that wearable. I think he just chooses yeah. not to. I don't know why. You can make it symmetrical. You can make it so, like, it kind of sits easy with each other. That it's not too mismatched. It literally looks like you pick two shoes off through two different racks. Yeah. Especially with the 11. 11 has, like, a very... Columbia's. The Columbia's. Ooh. Oh. That's, what it is. That's what they could. So, they went from Columbia to Legend Blue. But they used to, when they first came out, they were Columbia's. Okay. And so, if you, if you take the, the, you know, if you take, like, the five best, you know, obviously the 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 11s that everyone loves and you fucking put them together i think you know that's something that could be done but when yeah. you start putting these fives no it's trash um what if there was a, a hmm? i was gonna say i wonder what they would do with threes because there hasn't they haven't done a three right or did i miss that no they haven't i think they've done what the fours what the fives what the ones but i don't think there's been another jordan uh collab what the threes would be cool too just because like a lot of the like the classics sort of are similar enough where you can make it like super wearable even if they don't match sort of like the fours yeah well, what were you gonna say i, I didn't cut you off no i was just trying to think if we had the the what the 11s uh i'm trying to think of another you know sneaker that you know people love you know that's Twos would be cool just because you have a lot of interesting collabs to pull from. Yeah, there's a lot of panels, too. Yeah, there's a lot yeah. of panels. Yeah, the three wouldn't be so – the three would kind of be like the four where it'd be like just four shoes because there's not many panels. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. one of them has to be an elephant, so it's not like you're – you know, you already lost one there. But mm-hmm. – Yep. Fourteens uh, would be cool, I think. Because mm-hmm. there's only like four that really stick out, you know what I mean? Nines would be a mess, I think. See, they, these are the types of conversations that should be on that sneaker show. Which one? The sneakerheads. Oh, sneakerheads, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> we were having a good time, Chris. Why did you bring that up? We have to, we have to talk about it. Ugh. All right, everybody. Here's another episode of Sneakerheads. <laughs> well, no, because I was going to say, just to segue into the sneakerhead thing, because we could talk about the what the all day, but I mean, like, they did start off the fourth uh, episode with, like, hypotheticals like this, or, like, you know, conversational things like this. They just didn't make it, like, the full episode. They tried to squeeze that, what we are doing here, into yeah. 30 seconds at the beginning of the show. Right. Like, right. so... uh for for those listeners maybe who are new to the podcast, we're going episode by episode of the Sneakerhead show that's on Sneakerhead, I mean, on Netflix. We're in episode four. Uh, and they opened the episode uh, with everyone waiting outside talking about uh, what's the best non-athlete sneaker of all time and the best non-basketball sneaker. Mm-hmm. And which is the best Kanye shoe. Yes. Yes. So similarly, how we were just having this what the conversation, this is what that show should really be elaborating on and build a storyline around that. Right. But that, that's, that becomes tough just because, like, you alienate uh, entry level, I think. Actually, I would argue that you're actually probably educating them more because they're going to learn a lot more models. That's true. They are going to learn a lot. Mm-hmm. You. When you watch Sneakerheads, you don't learn anything. Literally, we were more informative mm-hmm. in this one conversation that, than this whole series is going to be the entire time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's true. <clears throat> First of all, the, the entire episode opens up before that, that conversation happens. Uh, a little kid opening a box of sneakers. And I was like, oh, this is cool. This is, we're going to get like an origin story. Nope. It's the same fucking Oregon 4s from the previous episode. With the scuff. With the scuff. 
socks on it. And a little kid is wearing Mark Wahlberg shoes. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yeah, we're just supposed to pretend like this is, this will be well, fine. That, yeah. <laughs> like he's totally going to wear these shoes, you know? Yeah. yeah. That, that, that was what was so crazy to me. Like the little kid, you know, is calling shots to get Oregon, like the Oregon fours. Like, yeah. So I didn't even realize that, that was what, what happened in the beginning until later when he called and he right. was like, yo, hot dog too. What's the kid's name? Hot dog daddy too. Get it right, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yeah, exactly. First of all, that's, that's the name they chose for the kid. Mm -hmm. And then I agree with Chris. I thought the whole time I was like, oh, we're going to look at like, I think like the main character's name is Devin. I think we were going to look at Devin's yeah. first pair of shoes, maybe, I thought. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or Bobby's first pair of Th shoes. That's, what I thought was, that's how I thought it was starting out, too. I was like, oh, it must be some flashbacks. The series started with him going to get the fours. Right. So I thought this was going to be him with the four. Like, the, the writing is just so bad on the show. You, you really but, could have you missed a fucking uh -huh. opportunity here. The one thing that I guess we can get out of this episode, because literally there's not much to talk about. Well, I guess Steve Buscemi actually agreeing to do that is literally, I have my notes in front of me. Steve Buscemi, like, reading the script and going like, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> what? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, no, but we, actually, we can answer those questions that they, they brought up. So, like, I don't know if you guys have one, but do you guys have a non-athlete sneaker that you really like? Non-athlete, I mean, sneaker. When you get to non-athletes, I mean, how many non-athletes really have sneakers? Or, you know, yeah. Like, well, no, I think they were I, saying in general, like, forces or, like, classic leathers or, you know, like, Stan Smith. Well, actually, that's an athlete, I well, guess. Well, even if – but Air Forces started out as a fucking, you know, if people were playing basketball in Air Forces. I would have yeah. said Blazers, but people skate and play basketball in those. Like, if we're talking non-athlete shoe, I mean, it really – pretty much stars in it. Maybe, you know, Kevin Hart had, had an app and that was a trainer. Yeah. Uh, Kanye West. I mean, but how many dudes really get non-athletes get athlete shoes? Drake. Yeah. Drake, but yeah, then Drake. he's not even getting his own shoe. He's just getting colors. That's what I'm saying. He's getting colors. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the lines are a little blurred when you do that because in, what Kanye is like the only one with the, with the actual shoe that they kind of. They made built, for him. Made for him. And then right. I think, the question then becomes, what's your favorite Kanye sneaker? Yeah, which is kind of what they did on the show, to be honest. This is like the most authentic thing they've done the, yeah. the, the, the entire four episodes that we've watched. Mm -hmm. Which, And then it all comes down to the twos, right? Easy twos are probably the best one. So that's not really much of an argument. I, yeah, I mean, I think it depends because I, I think some people like the easy ones. And then for just their ignorance in terms of how they – Developed them and like this, the height and all that, and then the easy two is more of a streamlined yeah. you know, version. Mm -hmm. It all depends on your preference. What about non basketball shoes? What, what about the Yeezy Babester? That's a beautiful <laughs> sneaker, man. That you know, that had you known it was gonna be what it was, you would have been out there to get them. But yeah, um, yeah Yeezy Babester is amazing too. I remember that shit back in the days. Jaspers, Definitely you have them. Rated. Yeah, Jaspers are. Yeah, they're. I mean, they're. I mean, they're up there, but I don't know. They're just so unwearable to me. Like Yeezy Twos and Yeezy Ones, and you know, are just wearable sneakers. I mean, you know, you it, yeah you put put on yeah, a pair of Louis Vuitton in general are already like uh yeah, and then to add the kind like it's like you know some motherfucking mortgage on you. That's a motherfucking Why not? car on your feet. You know what I mean? Yeah, buddy. So, what what about best non basketball? Hmm. Best non basketball shoe. So they brought up Serena's, which I think uh, was the right direction because I think it's after basketball the best shoes are tennis. Yeah. Uh. Mm. No, best shoes after basketball are skateboarding. Oh, here's a conversation. Okay, because I hear you, Luke, but I disagree because if you look at the landscape of wearable tennis and wearable skate shoes i think tennis wins that whoa, whoa, whoa hold up More, you're like saying agassiz you compare agassiz the skateboarding the sbs yeah yeah i don't know i mean uh, i well, think they're more now i'm now accessible. i'm not i'm not saying um 
I'm saying generally speaking. I'm saying for everybody. Right, 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 right. right. So I'm, I'm including, like, everyone's mom in this conversation, too. Like, I think they're more wearable than skate shoes. Okay, yeah. You give anybody a Stan Smith, and they could, they could put an outfit together. That's what I'm saying. Uh-huh. Like, they're, they're way, generally have more access points and wearability than like, most skate shoes. I mean, like, look, my first shoe was a dunk. Right, and know? I hear you. So, like, it, it wasn't even an SB dunk. It was a dunk high. So I'm I'm I gotta go. I I would go SB Dunk. Well, no, no, no. I wouldn't go SB Dunk actually. No, I'd have to go SB Dunk. Probably a low. Hmm. I mean, you said Agassi Lawrence. I think Agassi. That's a good shoe, and I think most people are gonna look better in Agassi's if you put them if you force them on the feet than SBs. No, I think SBs over Agassi's all day, baby. Oh, I can't mm. wait to l- look at the Discord after this. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all <laughs> you're going to have, look at who's, who's siding with you. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I, yeah, I can already see the one person who's going to side with me and I'm not happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. Uh, let's talk more about this episode or do you want to, do you have any more questions that you want to hit with? Hit us no, with? I mean, that was all they asked in the, in the show. So that's cool. Okay. So what are the, what happens in the episode? They, they, um, so they get they the go, clue from um, Hot Dog Honey or whatever his name is. Yeah. Hot Dog uh, Daddy. I mean, yeah, Hot Dog Daddy. <laughs> which you find out is a literal child. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, who has more information on these uh, coveted Jordan Zeros. What a dumb mm-hmm. premise for a fucking stupid show. It's, it's the thing that bothers me the most about the show is that they had to make up a model of shoe. Like, I don't, like, it's, a, like it's supposed to be like you're basically ripping off like, Mo, like Monty Python holy grail type shit you know mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like oh look this is the El- road to el dorado there's a there's a uh, city made of gold at the end of this trail just follow us basically <laughs> but it's like i don't know man this is not the way you introduce people to sneaker culture no and shoehorning yeah. like nigel sylvester and then who's that nick young like, nick just, young was in there swaggy, yeah. swaggy p yep yo so just as shoehorning celebrities into the so that's one thing. All right. So they shoehorn Nigel Sigester and then Nick Young. And then it, only sneaker people know who John Buscemi is. They even made the joke. They're like, wait, the, the movie star? Like the, the hack uh, joke. But yeah. like you need to know sneakers in order to know John Buscemi. They're not going to know who that is. Uh-huh. Yeah. They didn't really do a good job of explaining who he is. Uh-huh. It, yeah. They just said he's a guy who has a sandwich shop. Who has a sandwich shop who designed shoe who like designed shoes. Uh-huh. How did he get his address to go to the house? Huh? He went to John Buscemi's house after he got the 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 Capicola or whatever meat it was for the sandwiches. Yeah, it was Capicola. Okay. He just shows up at his know. house. I, Bro, I, I got it. the 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 plot holes in this show. I don't I don't try not to I watch it with like like as far away as possible, just trying not to look too deep into it. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, I look at it like this, man. It's a, um, it's, it's to me, it's, it's cameo driven. They put all these people in there to push to, to move the show. It's the acting is terrible. <laughs> the, it's, uh, it's just non authentic. And the only thing that is, is kind of, I like, and you know, obviously it's a TV show, so they have to, you know, make it you know a little they have to add some type of element to it but i i mean obviously you know sneakers have ruined many people's lives and i think that's yeah. the, the main character's main issue i think in life where he's fucked up he's fucking up off of sneakers you know whether it's his you know his family and he needs to get this money back you know for whatever for the storage and all this shit but it's it's just not good <laughs> not good so yeah that i think the only thing that's like keeping me at all interested in this show is to see what happens with the main like the main character and his family like Mm -hmm. that's the main thing that's like kind of driving the plot at this point where it's like is this is this lady gonna leave him Mm -hmm. because i don't know i i feel like i'm on her side at this point yeah so So, mm -hmm. no so i i don't all right, he going to the, what you're talking about, Luke. Where she le- so she leaves for the weekend or whatever, giving him just enough time to go to Tokyo 
to, to go to Hong Kong. To Hong Kong. That's what it was. To go to Hong Kong to see NSYNC because the guy who might own these Jordan Zeros might be there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why did, why did she say she's leaving and then go, all right, I'm coming back at Monday at 5? She gave a very hard deadline. Yeah, specific time that she was going to be there. Yep. Very specific time. She's basically saying, like, go, go chase your shoes for two days and figure it out. I think. <sighs> it doesn't sound like she wants him to, to ch- It's dumb. It's dumb. Yeah, it's just. And then the Asian guy showed up in the beginning of the episode. And he's, yeah, he's part of the. It's, he's the cringiest guy in the fucking crew. Mm-hmm. How does it's, he out cringe the white guy? And they, the white guy's cringy as fuck. Yo, they do not. They're not. The white people in that show are the, whoever wrote this does not like white people. They whoever don't wrote white this people. show doesn't like Asians more than white people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if that's mm-hmm. the guy, that's our guy. That's mm-hmm. your guy. You can't give us anybody else. Mm-hmm. It's gotta be this dork. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Nori's the best character in the show. Yeah, she is the best character. I, you know. Yeah, I agree. Best character in the show. She's I don't know why she keeps hanging out with these guys now, like, willingly. That's the other real problem with this show. Why does she keep hanging out with them? I hope, I hope one of the people who listened, like, watched or was in that show is listened. <laughs> I hope so. They're probably all listening to it. Except, no, King Batch, too. Is it Batch or Bach? King Batch. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? King Batch? That's Batch. How do you know that? I was a Vine kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I mean... Do you I, guys remember Vine? <laughs> I remember Vine. All right, so here, this is what we're going to do. All mm-hmm. right, Discord, we clearly don't like this show. This At show all. sucks. Yeah. If you enjoy us reviewing each episode, tell us, because we'll keep doing it, and that's the only way we're doing it. If no one mentions it, we're not going to do this again. No. We can't. We can't get through. I can't. Whatever. Yeah, I can't get through this. We can't get through this without the support. We're gonna. We're gonna Goku spirit bomb this shit. We need you guys to give us your energy. Mm-hmm. If you want us to keep doing it. If not, we'll just let Evil Boo fucking blow up the planet. There yeah, because I also don't want you guys to like every time this segment comes to like. All right, the podcast is done. Like I, I don't want you shutting off the podcast because we're reviewing this stupid show. That's oh. terrible. Or we might just fuck around and review it like in the beginning. So you got to listen to it to get to the next. <laughs> to get to the good <laughs> shit. There you go. Fuckers. That's how, we, that's how we get you. And what did Fuckers. that guy say at the end? The guy was like, yo, my kid dropped 30 on Kanye's kid. Yeah. I was like, what? Yeah. Why? I was like, well, how does he, this man live in a neighborhood where this guy's going to basketball camp? with Kanye's kid and which one yeah I was gonna say because the the youngest one is young right that that kid's Mm -hmm. not playing ball yet that kid's not playing ball the only one he would he would be playing ball against is North yeah so is he bragging about his kid dunking on North dropping Uh 30 on a girl (laughs) (laughs) a little girl (laughs) who has no I don't bro what Uh oh I, they're just name dropping. I mean, that is the one thing they did get right about this uh-huh. game culture. The level of name dropping. Yeah, that's that's actual facts. That's that's pretty accurate. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could do hypo's heat and get out of here. You can get out of here because there's a motherfucking Tampa Bay New Orleans game and Mr. Antonio Brown is back, baby. Ooh, Lawrence got money on the No, game. I don't, I don't, I don't. I just <laughs> I, I just want to see Antonio Brown fucking melt down soon. Yes. I, they stole my team. My whole team is in Tampa now. That's correct. Yeah, deal with it. Gronk, A B, T B. Yes. All sir. great Patriots. <laughs> All down there. All in Tampa. But uh what's your what's your hype with seat, fellas? What you got? Um, I'll go first just because I do I have it up still? Oh, I think I exited out. Well, oh no, I still have it. Uh no, because last week um Luke stole my Fila reference. Yes. Um we did talk about Fila. I'm going to go with, as I said last week, the Fila cage, as I just think it's a very underrated. Fila is generally an underrated brand. I know it's not like doing the greatest amount of work out here, but they do have some good silhouettes, and I think the cage is one of them. It's a great basketball shoe. It fits next to any of the other bulky basketball shoes that you wear, and look, even this one right now, it's 54 bucks. It's on sale. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Uh, my pick this week, uh, I'm going to go... 
with my hometown hero, Jeremy Lin. He's got a oh no, is this not the one? No, I I gave you the link, didn't I? Yeah, this is it. This is what you sent me. No, I sent you an Alibaba link. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, maybe you did. Wait, hold on. Let me <laughs> just talk about it while I pull it All up. All right. So I'm I'm picking the Jeremy Lin signature shoe, the Jeremy Lin ones, baby. That is my shit right there. Um, if you yeah, definitely sent you that in the in the group chat. Okay, hold on. Um what do you call it? Uh, listen, they're a basketball shoe. They look like basketball shoes, but they just got Jeremy Lin's name on them. So obviously I got to stand. That's what I got to do. I really want to see these shoes. Hold on. They're coming, buddy. I, what, is, I, what is up with this website? Uh, that's the other thing. It's they're made by, uh, X step, or I believe it's pronounced step, uh, which is a very interesting company. For- this, we- this website's like like the phone version it's like zoomed yeah, in yeah, on the mobile version just you see that m all the way in the top next to the aliexpress uh, on the code on the address mm-hmm. no you no luke i'm not a fucking i don't have your i don't line. have your all nerd knowledge of websites all oh this in, one yeah 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 take out the m all right okay. it's too late <laughs> and the period oh i didn't do that Oh, no, ah, it worked. There we go. It worked. Hey, look at Look, it's a nerd. There we go. Yeah, buddy. So those are the shoes. I like the little, the translucent hit on them. Uh, it's a very shiny shoe. Uh, a couple of the models look like they got a swoosh on them. Which one? You, you were talking about it earlier. I, he's got like another model that definitely looks like it has a swoosh on them. They almost look like Zoom Freaks, uh, the Giannis model. Yeah. I uh, mean... These are, I mean, these are cool. These are, I mean, look, I, I, these were right, fell right from under me. I try to pay attention to the Asian market of sneakers because, because I think it's like getting stuff right. You know, I've been saying this for a while. Li Ning is probably the best one to me, but Anta, all these guys are doing some good shit. And, uh, I was unfamiliar with these guys. You put me on Luke. Thanks. And these look cool. I'm not fucking mad at these. They kind of remind me of, uh, like some streamlined LeBrons, to be honest. Yes. Or like the... Jordan Why Not Zeros or something like that. Yeah, yeah, feel like a Jordan Why Not or like a LeBron Soldier. Yes. Yeah, that's probably that's a better comparison for sure, a soldier. Yeah, like a soldier. Mm-hmm. But yeah, anything that's not a swoosh, that's kind of cool. Um, what do you got for us, Al? I this is this does this feels like a little bit of heat, but it definitely you know it feels like you could have got these. At retail or under retail, and I'm gonna go with the AirTech Challenge too. So I'm gonna go with the Andre Agassi's. Wow, Ooh. bringing it back full fucking circle. Hey, just, we just talked about tennis shoes, and and I feel as if I, you know, like I said, I, you know, there's been plenty of times. Yeah, there's a little a little hype behind them, but at the same time, most of the time, people was able to, they were flying under the radar. People were able to get them under retail. At times, I know I was able to get a pair years ago under retail. Mm-hmm. And um and yeah, they're just uh fucking heat, man. That you know, people, you know, nice shoe. Yes, I mean, this is what I'm saying though. I think a lot of people could pull these off more than they could pull off a dunk. All ages, gender doesn't matter. Like Air Tech Challenge over a dunk is makes the most sense to me. But that, like, look at your shoe collection. Yes, I'm saying. It's, it's- <laughs> Look at yeah. your collection. Yeah. All of your shoes kind of look like this. <laughs> That's not incorrect. Not incorrect is all I'm uh, saying. I think uh, it, you give somebody a pair of Kentucky Dunks, you don't think they're going to be able to figure out how to style that? I mean, you're, I'm, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty, it's close. That's all I'm saying. I mean, I'm not right, saying no, you're wrong. You're, right, right, right. It's close. It's close. I could see people wearing these. I do see people wearing these. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be the hot lava color. It could be any color, any of those colors. Yeah. But I think, yeah, it's just definitely a nice shoe that you can very nice shoe. Mm-hmm. I think um maybe on a later episode or like a different segment or we should talk about when um Agassi was playing Michael Chang and like Reebok and Nike were having the sneaker war mm-hmm. with them. Ooh. You know I love me a good sneaker war. Because the the Court victory, because they were both white shoes. The court victory had the lime, and these had the, like, the, the, the red or whatever. And, like, they were really going back and forth at each other. And that shit was crazy. Mm-hmm. Ooh. 
Some real history shit. Yeah. They had like ads attacking each other. It was like kind of like the like, it was like a political campaign kind of. They're just talking shit about each other the whole time. Now right? it's full circle. Now it's full. There we go. Boom. That is full circle. Um, well, I guess that's it, guys. Uh, you know where to follow us, but in case you're new, you can follow me at notthatgenie.com. You can follow Luke at Trevisus. Uh, you can follow Lawrence at LZD325. Uh, check out the Instagram uh, at subpodcastnyc, where we have an email. They can email us. There's also a phone number attached, so you could leave us a voicemail or text us. Mm-hmm. And join the Discord, for sure. The Discord's growing every week. We have um, new emojis. Yes, we have... We have uh, is that what they're called? Emojis? Yeah, they're called emojis. Emoticons. Uh-huh. No, they're emojis. Oh, okay. <laughs> but we have, uh, we have emojis for all of us now. All three of us have our own emojis. Uh, <laughs> Lauren says two. I have two. Well, actually, I have one, and then the French guy has one. If you're the a, French oh, guy has one. French guy, yes. And then Chris has one, too. And it, if, you, if, you're a good, if you're a real fan, you know what it sounds like. So this is the Discord, everybody. Look, we... Uh, you know, we, we have constant updates. We have a uh, buy, sell, trade area. We talk about the latest pickups. What'd you wear today? We have an anime discussion because there's a bunch of nerds in here. Hypos Heat's in there. And then we have links to other great sneaker discords. So just come in, hang out. Um, and, show, them uh, the, show them some of the, the, the emoji, emojis. Oh, yeah. I don't, wait, I don't, I don't know how to do that on the computer, though. Oh, this guy. Yeah, there you go. Wait, why is he sad? Oh, there we go. Mine's just slow. Yeah, so we got the SUP logo, Supreme shirt. Oh, shit, went away. Um. Yeah, there's uh. <laughs> Lawrence is the funniest because you have the happy and the thing. Yeah, you have you have a disappointed Lawrence and a happy Lawrence. Yeah, happy Lawrence. <laughs> this we even a... have a juice. We have a juice. Uh, juice Foster. Uh, yeah, juice yeah. snuck in. Look at look, look at little Luke, huh? <laughs> look at little Luke. Little Luke. Little Lukey. Yeah. Little got him. A little my uh my laugh here. Yeah. And then all the classics: Jordan crying, Will Smith. Uh, stonks. Yeah, no, this is you know we got the brand logos. Yeah. Good old stonks, baby. <laughs> Good old stonks, baby. L for when you get an L. Notice there's no W because there's not really any W's happening, but you do got the got them. Um, <laughs> the Lawrence ones are so funny. The Lawrence ones are great. Lawrence, what? this is Lawrence when we're doing a bit, and then Lawrence when we stop doing a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but that's it, guys. Any final thoughts before we get out of here? Any last words? Nah, man. Y'all be safe, man. We fucking Biden regime, baby. Biden baby. 46. Mm-hmm. All right, but that's it, guys. So we'll see you next week. Yes. Peace. Peace. Peace.